Hello guys, and Diana do as always. I wasn't going to do a video tonight, um, but after reading a comment of um, a person that wrote in my video and that <coughs> um, he had seen Metal Gear's 5 gameplay trailer, I just had to go see for myself. And um, I was a bit skeptical because, like many others, I knew that um, it would... I, I remember that there was a preview of something and that it was supposed to be lightning bolt action. And it was to, supposed to be with Raven. Remember that ninja guy um, that you have in Metal Gear 2 and 4? And in 2 is a normal guy fights for you and in three and he has um, that weird blood running through his veins because he's technically dead it's like mm, gray fox was if I'm not wrong anyway I knew that the next video game after Metal Gear 4 was supposed to be about Raven and his lightning bolt action and his stupid katana I'm sorry guys I really don't like that character and, and then I see this video and I recognize um, Big Boss because I see uh, the patch which is on the right if I'm not wrong or left anyway I remember it's something you learn from a Metal Gear 4 and you learn to recognize um, the eye patch um, from Solidus and Big Boss and PM me if you don't remember the detail, I'm not going to put the spoiler here because some people might not remember it and I might ruin something very very oh my god depressing that happens in Metal Gear 4 anyway, um, this new Metal Gear game really looks like um, a really stealth game well usually Metal Gears were called stealth but Oh come on, you didn't have to play stealth like real stealth games to make th make it through, didn't you? And um, this Metal Gear really looks like you have to be careful and not get noticed and most of all um, you have the moves, you have the tactics, you have all those espionage moves and so many chances of things to do which really allow this to be uh, an espionage tactical game and um, what kind of hit me is um, the title and it's Metal Gear 4 The Phantom Pain associated with um, the snake's new name it's punished the snake a fallen legend thought that Big Boss would never become a fallen legend because you know you play Metal Gear 1 and you just know he died this is what they say then you play Metal Gear 2 and it's just a fresh update on what happened after Metal Gear 1 and then you play Metal Gear 3 and there's all this James Bond feeling to the game and it's just all so epic, all so romantic and honestly Big Boss is some of the most fascinating guys <laughs> existed I mean I know he's a fantasy and all but he's just like so handsome you know <laughs> and David Hayes has such an amazing voice <laughs> and um, I'm kind of disappointed because I think that the voice changed it's no longer David Hayes I, I know it's different, or maybe it wasn't even David Hayes in Metal Gear 3. Probably wasn't. And anyway, I was saying that, um, as we know, Solid Snake had become a fallen legend after Metal Gear 4. You see him old, crinkly, wrinkly. But his father, his genetical father, wasn't supposed to become from a legend. He was just supposed to remain a legend and with his mother, motherly love to boss and all that music. Did you know that um, when Del's Skyfall 
was released. Um, Metal Gear 3's song, A Snake Eater, got so many hits. And I read so many comments. I think I read something like that too. I'm saying Metal Gear 3 is the best James Bond movie ever. Because it is. It was just so romantic. So, And it was kind of a, a positive... Mm, it was like so positive compared to Metal Gear 4, which was also dark. So just crushed all your hopes. And it's just so melancholic when you go back to Metal Gear 1 place and before dropping you down with a helicopter um, at first you wake up with old snake's face and that face is really like it was in PlayStation 1 and I would have kissed Hirokojima on the cheek for that moment because it was the happiest moment ever and but it was so melancholic to go back to that because Metal Gear 1 was an Astra Met Metal Gear Solid 1. Metal Gear 1 was for Nintendo, if I'm not wrong. Yes. And it wasn't as tragic as 4 was. 4 was so tragic. And, you know, about Big Mama and Big Boss and everyone. And also, um, the enemies you fought in Metal Gear 4 are so tragic. I mean, they look a bit of story behind them and they made it tragic just so that you could get attached to them I think this is what I think because mm, all the enemies in Metal Gear have always been so interesting um, Solidus um, uh, uh, the um, Vulcan Raven Psycho Mantis Sniper Wolf I cried so much. I cried so much every time I kill her. Although her fights are the most fun ones ever. And no, you're not supposed to take her down with a missile launcher. You know, the... Was it a Nicktea launcher? When you fight her in the snow? It's so sad. Anyway, I saw this video. And I was so surprised to see you have so many options in fighting. And I was so surprised. When I saw Miller, um, Miller as a character from Metal Gear 1, I don't exactly remember what he did, I just remember that, oh well, should I read the spoiler? Yeah, everyone played Metal Gear 1 after all. <coughs> and Miller was like, um, he guided you for the, um, for your Metal Gear 1 mission, and he guides you to activate the Metal Gear. You then find out. He was actually Liquid Snake. <laughs> and so you find him, and then I see you have Hemrick again. Hal Hemrick, who doesn't love that character, is so handsome as well. My god, he's like a geek. He's an otaku. <laughs> yeah, he's otakon. And um, we have, oh my god, another one of those super loved guys. I mean, Revolver Ocelot. He is so cool in Metal Gear 1, he is kind of boring in Metal Gear 2, and he is so funny in Metal Gear 3. He's like such a cocky guy, <laughs> with his revolver and all, and I really, really uh, like that character and I'm so happy to see him back. And so I'm so, I see that there's a new character, um, a sniper. I couldn't help but notice the big, you know, chest. You know, it's marketing. We all market in some way, don't we? Maybe they sell better than me and I always wrap my zip up. Who knows? Anyway, I I know that I'd be crazy enough to get a PlayStation 4 just for that. And I'm just so happy to know that they just didn't make um, I hope that they just didn't make a video game just to get some money. I mean, we all do things for money, but um, I hope that they did something worth the money. 
and because I'm so afraid that it's just going to be another battlefield or thing. You know, I, I don't mind battlefield all that stuff, it's not my kind of game, but mm, I want something deep. The stories have always been so deep and you got always so attached to characters. You always felt you know, it's made you cry so much. And so I seriously hope mm, that the game will not disappoint our expectations because it would be a real disappointment. Hideo Kojima, you're, you're really a, a genius. Never ever disappoint your fans. <laughs> Please keep doing great works and I really hope that this new Metal Gear game is amazing like the, all, all the other ones you did. After this, I'm having cold turkey because I want to play Metal Gears again. <laughs> oh, but I also saw it said you have enhanced CQC, close quarter combat. And I saw that like you hit a guy, you take his gun, you shoot him. That's just so amazing. It sounds like it'll be a great game. Especially for those who consider the early games too easy, which did happen actually. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. I hope um, this video was interesting, especially if you're a Metal Gear fan like I am. I'll be making new videos soon on video games, don't worry. I'll be making lots of role plays. I'll be making so many things. You can't imagine. I wish you a good night, my friends. This was Diana D.